Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Spaceborne, but I'm going to be playing Spaceborne on this. Yes, this is a one-handed keyboard, heck yes, which means I've got to map all the keys and stuff like that, but I figured I'd do a little mini unboxing first while I'm drinking my tea, and then I'll be playing Spaceborne 2 a little bit later inside of this vlog. Heck yes, let's get this thing open first of all, people. Let's uh, get it open. Right, okay. Oh, well, my camera's on top of the monitor, so it's quite difficult, but I think you can see it all there. Let's put it on nice. Um, a cable fell on the floor. So there's the cable. And look, it's it's all sort of like um, fabric-coated cable. I like the fabric-coated cables. So already this is showing good signs. It's got a nice bit of... I think that's a sticker. I think I got a free sticker. Everyone likes a free sticker. Heck, yes, they do. Oh, spare keys. Got some spare keys and bubble wrap there. Spare keys. They can go in a drawer somewhere. Some sort of cable tidy for a clippage. I think that's what that is. And here we go. Here's the PS to resistance keyboard. It's inside of this plastic housing at the moment. So let's try and get it out of the plastic housing. There we are. Oh, it detaches. Okay, so yeah, there's two parts. Look, you've got like a little wrist rest. Oh, it's magnetic. <laughs> so this piece down here, look, it's just magnetic. Comes straight off. Oh, that's lovely. All right, cool. Well, I haven't got a... Oops. <sighs> Duplicated it. Okay, well, I haven't got a lot of desk space so let's let's see where i can actually put this i'll just put all the bits i don't need down there instruction manual go away you sticker yeah i don't think i'm going to be sticking that anywhere to be honest i haven't got much room to stick anything spare bits i'll put those in a little drawer down here lovely jubbly or oh, with my tinfoil hat yes i've got a tinfoil hat inside that drawer just in case you never know when the government's watching do you <laughs> right okay well i'll place this here on my desk Let's get the cable in, boom. And it should just be plug and play, I'd imagine, peeps. Anyway, uh, can I show you uh, my desk? I probably can. I'll show you my desk. Hold on, let me grab the camera. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of out of body experience, people in the view of us. But here we go, here's my desk right here. So I'm going to be placing it here in between these two keyboards. Okay, so not a lot of room. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I don't really use a keyboard to play. There's my actual gaming laptop keyboard all the way over there. It's um, a bit of an oddity. I don't know why it done that sort of weird thing with half view there. Okay, anyway, let's purchase that back on top of the actual monitor. It's going to take me a while to get that in exactly... Oh, I think I put it in exactly the same place where it was. I think it just needs to go that way a little bit. Boom! Done. Well, that worked better than I thought it would. Okay, right. So I'm going to get this plugged in. I'm going to get all the keys mapped for um, Spaceborne. And I'll be right back with you people in the viewerverse. I'm also going to drink a little bit of my tea. Lovely jubbly. Oh, and if you're wondering what that thing was that I held up at the start, um, that was a 3D printed No Man's Sky ship. Yeah, it's one of my very first prints that I did. And I painted it up to match one of my ships that I've got now that I fly around in quite a lot. Yeah, pretty darn sweet, huh? Okay, it's a little bit of a rough print. I've got, yeah, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. I'll be right back with you as Spaceborne 2 people. Heck yes, I will. Goodbye for now. Well, okay, people, I am in game. I guess I am now. I've put the keyboard here and I've set up the camera where you can see exactly what I'm doing with the keyboard. Oh, look, it all lights up as well. You can see my mouse over here as well. Cool, you. So, yeah, I might take this off the screen in a moment, but let's jump on in and let's play, shall we, peeps? Uh, yeah, I've got the audio down okay. Okay, right. Well, let's uh, let's jump on in and play then. So, load game. Boom. And we're doing the second mission. So, here we go. Let's load that one up. Boom. And load. Papa. Now, the first mission, I went and spoke to a guy in a space station, and he basically gave me a robotic head, and he said he's going to aid me on a mission. It looks like he's already... Oh, no, there he is. I thought he'd already bloody gone, but he hasn't. I wonder if he's got anything else to say. So click on him, F to interact. Oh, he just dances. Look at him go. He's got freaking moves. He's got freaking moves. He's got nothing else to say by the looks of things, people. So I guess that's that then. I guess we head back to our ship. The only thing is, it, it was the other day that I played this and I can't remember how to get back. Oh, I think this is the way out. There we go. There's my ship. Shippity ship. Nice. Awesome. So actually, the uh, camera that I put at the bottom is kind of obscuring um the actual bars that i've got on screen isn't it so you know what i will take it off in a second but we're just getting my ship before i do where's the front end of the ship it's over here <laughs> okay cool 
So yeah, it's actually really cool. I have mapped all the keys, and it, this game uses every single key that's on this keyboard, people. So there we are. Anyway, I'll take that off the actual, I'll take that off the thing. So one second, let's just hit escape on here for a second. I'll go over here. I'll take off that little keyboard, but you get the idea anyway. It's working pretty darn freaking nice, to be honest, people. And now we'll jump back into game. Resume. Here we go, then. Right out. So that's, uh, oh, that's roll. I need to use R. Still getting used to the controls. <laughs> Whee! Nice one. Okay, right. Now where am I going? Okay, go to Old War Debris. Okay, where the fudge is Old War Debris when it's at home then? All right, well, we'll try and find that in a second. Old War Debris. All right, well, let's uh, bring up the map and let's see if we can spot it on here. There's Debris over there. Mission Debris. How do I zoom in and over there? Debris? I want to go there. Is that it? Debris. Is that debris? I think that's debris. Yes, that's debris. Cool. <laughs> okay. Right, so we've got that locked in. Uh, now it's put it on our actual map scanner. So where are you, debris? There you are. Okay. Oh dear. It's inverted still. I need to change that. It's down to go up at the moment. There we are. And up to go down. I thought I changed that last time, but there we are. We've got that there. How do I lock on? Middle one. There we go. Nice. Calibration completed. Wait cool. For the thruster input. Let's go. I'm liking using this little keypad a lot more than using the joypad. But I need to change that inversion of joypad movement or whatever. Sweet. We're on our way. Can I change that right now? Let's go into the old settings. and Let's see if I can in, uh, invert access. No, there we go. Done. Yeah, that's better. Down to go up, up to go down. That's that's it. <laughs> Done. We have a quick button press. That's why you should get rid of those salvagers first. Clear the debris from the ship. All right, fine. That's, that sounds fairly simple. Oh no, it's never that simple, Captain Steve. We've got evil. We've got evil to tangle with. Oh, I can just hold it. Cool. And then group one. And now let's hit him with the rail guns. Take that. Oh, this is so much easier. Apart from I haven't managed to hit him yet. <laughs> I don't want my guns to overheat. But there we are. Let's get him dead. Sweet. Right, you. I'm getting a little bit quicker at swapping out the different sort of loadouts and things. I'm getting a bit better at this now. Sorry about the control sort of hiccup earlier, though. Boom. You're dead. I guess you are. And dum dum dum. <laughs> I want to get some better weapons for my ship. I'm not too sure where I get them exactly. I might have to jump on the old YouTube and see if somebody's actually got a guide up on where to get decent tech and stuff. But then again, I wonder whether you can get different ships. I'd like to think that you can. Or maybe we could just upgrade this one. Because you know what? I kind of like it, even though it is a pile of junk. It's nice to feel like the underdog, you know? Okay. Right. Where are we going now? Okay, guard Axa while he finds the mission parts. All right, so I guess I've got to fi follow you, maybe? I don't know. Am I following this guy? Interesting. I'm getting signal from yeah, I'm following this guy. All right, mate, don't you worry. Captain Steve is your wingman. Your wingman. Oh, I need to slow down. I already found the first part. Yeah, I have you? Good. I want a leg. Cool. So we're rebuilding a robot, people, in this episode. Yes, and hopefully they're going to become my companion. Pretty darn cool. Am I protecting this guy? I think I'm protecting this guy. I don't think... I don't see Axe's ship, so I can only imagine that he's inside this drone. Where? I don't see any company. Oh, okay. Now I do. You're quite right. Yeah, right. Here we go. Let's shoot this little guy to bits. He's only got a little bit of shield left. I should be able to take that out with this. There we go. Take that. No, I don't need to kill him. Alright, okay. Where's the next one?
If we can have it. Is that my shield? My shield's almost gone. Alright, fine. I'm glad that I'm not using a joypad for this, anyway. Even though this isn't doing me many favours, either. And I, st I still don't know how I dodged these freaking missiles. I mean, on the joypad, there was a double press of a button which did it. But I don't know which double press it is now. You know, so there we are. Okay, right. Where's the actual fighters? There's one over there. Let's go lock onto that one. Okay, let's leave this place as soon as possible. Alright, cool. That sounds good to me. Let's get out of here. Warp away. Where to? Where to? Where am I going? Okay. Oh, my days. Now I've got to find that place. Okay, here we go. Go. I'm, I'm doing it. Fudging heck. Just freaking... Okay, I've got to hold it up to 100%. I'm going to be dead before it hits 100% at this rate. Holy fudge. Look at that. I'm, I'm freaking like molten lava. Holy fudge, though. That's what you're supposed to do, people. Take out a couple of the fighters, ignore the freighters, wait till he gets the second the robot parts and get out of there. Okay, right. And that's probably why I died the first time then, isn't it? Because I, I tried to hero it. Freaking, yeah, not good. I don't know where I was supposed to warp here. I just got away. Go to the Zonaxa system. Okay, via the Stargate. What the fudge? Well, where's the Zonaxa system? Okay, well, we, we go to the Stargate because I, I know I've got to go there. Fine. Um, T. Stargate. There's the Stargate over there. Brilliant. The whole fact that my ship is like mar molten lava right now doesn't seem to be a concern of anyone, apart from my own. Oh, well, we're warping there, people. Phew. Well, I'm going to wait until the next mission starts, I suppose. And we're going to get our friend rebuilt, and then I'll be ending off this episode, people. But pretty darn freaking epic and fun. Meow. Now, it does say there that I've got to go to the K1 system, but I'm not too sure how. To use the Stargate, you must have first registered a route. For this, open up the Galaxy Atlas and press the systems or the set route well how do i open up the galactic atlas i have no idea how i open up the galactic atlas mate then close the galactic atlas what button okay all right fine press h to act okay well i can't do step one so that's 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 fun isn't it so open up the galactic atlas so i've got t is there a galactic atlas in here system information system locations clear warp Galactic Atlas is up there. All right, fine. All right. And where we got to go to? Holy fudge. This is insane. Seriously. Rebuild a friend. There. I want to go there. The Zonax system. Okay. How do I register that as a, as a route? Set route. To there. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Yeah. Okay. That's that's kind of that then I guess I think I've done it I think I've done it okay come out of there okay right set root press H to open up the cursor display well I haven't got H on on my little mini keyboard so I guess we do it over there um signals Stargate jump to next route please approach to the jump point to start jump process okay. I think I just did it, just by sheer freaking fluke and chance. Ah. Yeah. Um, H to set route. Jump to next route. Can I go in? It looks like it's freaking active. This is what I'm don't get, you know? 
for whatever reason, at the moment, I can't actually move around on this screen. Um, now I can. There you go. Right, I'm going to fly in again and see what happens. Uh, it says my destination, so I, I think it should be working. Maybe it's because I didn't fly in this square the first time. I flew in halfway through. Oh, we've done it. We're freaking there, mate. We're freaking there. Okay, cool. Well, that was my first Stargate. Sorry about that, people. I'm still learning this stuff. You know, I'm learning as I go, and I think I've done okay. I think I've done all right. I'd imagine you guys also struggled with this if you've played this game. All right, I don't... Why are you scanning my ship for me? I don't get it. All right, now where have we got to go? So Stargate, escape... I should be in this new section now. So have I got to go there? Planet Newburn, Ice Planet. Is that... No, I don't know where I've got to go. Sonic Station, where have I got to go? Okay. And go to the Sonax Station. Yes, the Sonax Station. There it is. The Sonax Station. Boom. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Lovely jubbly. Sonax Station. Done. There's Sonax. Let's lock it in. Cool. Then hold the engines. We're on our way to Sonax Station. And hopefully it's going to be worth it. Hopefully I'm going to get a little robot friend made, people in the view of us. On our way there. Brilliant day. Dum 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 diddly dum. Diddly day. You know what? I can. No, you don't need to see my keyboard again, do you? No. Oh, where's my mouse pointer gone? I've lost my mouse pointer. What the fudge? What happened? Um, it's time for you to die. Yeah, there we go. Right, here we go. Take this, you! Yeah, you can't offload my cargo. It looks like space pirates are on me. And I've just survived a freaking space battle with freighters. Probably not the best thing to have said. But you know what? Bring it on, my friend. Bring it on. You've just tangled with death himself. Great. Missile lock. Run away. Shite. I didn't know there was three of them. I thought there was one. Okay. Where's he gone? Fudge this. I'm dead. Where's the one I targeted, for fudge's sake? Because I've already weakened that one. Ah, oh, it's lost its targeting, hasn't it? Alright, fine. We'll target this one, then. We can have that. Oh, you fudging gits. If my ship was fully healthy, you'd be in a lot of trouble right now. Let me tell you that, freaking three. Man, the AI on these are, are freaking awesome because what they're doing, they keep, this one's keeping me distracted while the other two are shooting the living shite out of me. Not for long. Take that. Right, you roused about. Oh, you freaking git. Freaking hit me with a freaking missile. See that, people? Freaking scutter. Hold on. This guy seems to be absorbing all of my weapons. That's not good. Right, swap target. I don't think I can win this battle, is what I'm thinking. Because look, they're just absorbing all my shots. So I don't know whether I'm supposed to die right now, but it feels like it because I think they've just brought in a, another replacement ship for the one that I just killed. What the fudge, mate? What the fudge? I hate it when they script in battles that you can't win. Because what are you supposed to do? Now am I back at the Stargate? Where am I? Oh, fudge sake. I am back at the bloody Stargate, am I? No, there's Sonax Station. Right, here we go. My ship has just been scanned. Alright. 
This time I'll be a bit friendlier, I suppose. Okay. Calibration done. And we're on our way. So if I get if I get sort of scanned this time, I guess I'm gonna to have to give them something. But then again, I think all my shield is fully restored now. Hmm. I still don't have any missiles though that I'm aware of. Darn it. I don't think I can survive a battle with those guys. They just seem to be too I mean they're absorbing all my freaking shots. What do you want? We plan to confiscate a few things from your storage. As long as you don't resist, everything will be fine. Okay, take it. Okay, cool. There we are. We've done that then. Alright, where's Sonak Station? Sonak. There we go. So it looks like you can't win that battle, people. Um, you know, it's a bit of a shite, to be honest. Darn it. Alright, there we go. You live and learn, peeps. You live and learn. There we are. Yeah, they were absorbing all my shots. I, that, that sucked a little bit, to be honest. Um, I'm not too keen on that. Let's uh, get on over there, then. But you know what? Overall, I'm really liking this game still, people. It's actually really quite a good, fun game. Is it as immersive as I first thought it to be? Not so much. And the planets themselves feel a bit barren. They could do with adding some alien plants and alien life forms on there, like big creatures and stuff. That'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's got promise though. This it's, it really has. It's it's quite interesting. I don't know what all these blue, these little other ships are. They don't seem to have red dots on, so they can't be bad guys. All right. So have I got to land somewhere on this thing? Where do I land? Or is that the landing inside of here? Inside of this little recess. Do I have to land there? And dock at the station. I, Oh, fudging heck. Well, I can see... No, that's not a recess. I have no idea where the landing pad is. Throw me a freaking bone, mate. Yeah, I, I have no idea where I'm supposed to land on this bloody thing. Nearly crashed into it then. Where are the landing pads? A big freaking green arrow would be nice, wouldn't it? Ah. There we go. I found the landing pads by sheer freaking accident. All right, cool. Uh, landing gear. Landing gear is N. Landing gear Sweet. Okay, and then I think V is it? Uh, let's uh, move forwards a little bit. And then I think it's V to go down. Forwards a bit. There we are. Kapow. We're there. G to exit. Haha! -ha! I landed, people. All right, where's the where's the door then? <laughs> Where do I go now? All right, um, all right. Now I've dot. Yeah, I've. Is he? Aha! There's a door over there. I think. My ship doesn't look all that healthy. All right, there we go. Let's go on in. Oh, stairway. Nice. Well, this is not the same place as I met that chap earlier. So, can he build my robot here? Ship manage, ship manager. Okay, ship manager. Can I can I buy some freaking weapons? That's what I want. Cool ship, transfer items. Cargo. I don't know whether they robbed me, those people, to be fair. I have no idea what that is either. I mean, what is that? Pulse rifle. Well, I don't... Yeah, um... Fine. Can I install this? I don't know. I have no idea. They haven't really given me much of a tutorial on any of this stuff. And there's, uh, there's nothing to really tell me where I've got. It. I mean, there's something that says elevator over there. I just, I guess, I follow the green markers. There's nothing to tell me what to do. But then again, I do like games that don't do too much hand holding. Be nice if there was a little bit more, maybe. Okay. Go F. All right. Well, you know what? Since um, since I'm I'm, I'm inside here, I I bring up the keyboard again so you can see a bit more of what I'm doing over here. Okay. Seaman. What the fudge? How do I get to him? All right. Um. I guess around this way then. 
89 meters this way. I'm just following green markers at the moment, people. And I don't know how to get to him through there. Uh, let's go this way. I like the fact that there's an NPC actually walking around. I mean, all the NPCs that we've seen... Oh, my days. All the NPCs we saw on the planet were very sort of static. But these guys actually have pathing by the looks of things. I don't think you can actually talk to them. No. Uh -huh. Okay. But this is pretty darn cool. I like it. Alright, so the guy I need to talk to is in there. Obviously, I've gone past the bloody door then, haven't I? Where is the door into that room? How do I get in? I want in. How do I get in? Well, it looks like the door's on the opposite bloody side. It's over there. Okay. Um, I guess we walk all the way around the long way then, I guess. Round this way. Oh. This is the guy I need to talk to then. I don't need to go in there. Hello. Yeah. I don't know. I have a robot that's been cut into pieces. Can you put these pieces together and make them work? Cool. He's, he's a bit abrupt, though, isn't he? Wow. That's my robot. Okay, where's the head? Is that the head? Or is that the head? I don't know. Anyway, okay, cool. Do your thing. Okay. How much money and time? Okay. If I should be repairing this guy, it will cost you something for sure. You need to understand that it's pretty hard to get the right spare parts, but I fear that without those, I won't be able to get him back to life. Now it depends on you. I could do that for you, but it will cost you a significant amount of TY, and it will take at least two hours. But I've got a proposal for you. Instead of paying me, you could do a small job for me. Yeah, okay. No, I do the jobs, mate. I do the jobs. What's the jobs? It is easy as I said. I have not been able to reach a friend for a while who has been living on planet yeah. Zunavars. Planet Zunavar. Yeah, not a problem, mate. Okay, I'll check him out. Cool. So we've got ourselves a new mission. We've got to go to planet Zunavars and uh, find his friend. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing next episode, people. But for now, I'm going to be uh, saving my game. So, yeah, I'm just, um. Okay. Oh yeah, I've got to skip the menu. Yep, cool. Got it, mate. Sweet. So, how do I save? Save in here. And we'll overwrite this one, I think. Overwrite. There we go. Saved. Brilliant day. Right, let's quit out of there. Lovely jobs. Let's play on that. Jump back over to here. Oh, I said I quit the game completely. All right, there we are, people. So that was episode two. I hope you've enjoyed episode two. Um, and I, I must say, this little gamepad has made a world of difference. I'll leave links to this inside of my video description if you want one of these left-handed joypads. Awesome. Well, keyboard, and you can use it with whichever hand you want, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just using it with my left hand, using my mouse with the right hand. Works bloody well. And uh, yeah, it's made the game a lot more accessible. I don't think I could have done that mission without this, to be honest. But anyway, people, I'm going to be ending off. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.